Welcome guys to another video. My name is Corey from designsbyifr.com and today I want to bring you a video showing you guys my top five tools that I use for beginning PC modding. Now this will not be towards those advanced users looking to cut into their case or modify their case in any way. This is for those users who are a bit scared to sort of damage their case in any way and want to try and modify the case, make it look a lot more unique without actually damaging the case itself. Now guys, please keep in mind, these are my five personal tools that I would choose. These could vary from person to person, depending on the way and style that people like to mod. These are my top five choices for getting started into PC modding. I hope you all enjoy. So my first choice of getting starting into PC modding would have to be either an L square or a T square with a ruler on top of it. Now the reason that one of these would come in handy is you are able to create those straight lines to create cuts or even score down the line to create different shapes and different modding techniques on pieces of acrylic, which is a really good material to start modding with, to create really cool pieces of art. Not only is it good for creating those straight square lines, you also have the ruler on there. So it serves as a double purpose. You are able to measure the lines to the correct size that you are after. You are also able to use it to measure how long or wide you need to cut certain panels in your case. Now this would work really well with acrylic, as I said, being a really cheap and inexpensive material to start PC modding with, as it doesn't require you to actually damage the case in any way, which should take a lot of that stress out of your mind if you are worried about damaging your case. Tool number two would have to be tape, in particular some painter's tape and some double-sided tape. Double-sided tape can come in really handy for sticking those custom panels on that you create. Therefore, you don't have to damage the case. And that is one big thing that I wanna make a point of in this video, as people just beginning PC modding are very nervous when it comes to cutting and everything like that. So giving them this option to use is definitely a plus. It's easy to install, easy to remove. You're not going to be making any changes to the case at all. Painter's tape is great for setting out guidelines. It's also good for laying down if you wanna create different cuts and also if you wanna score. I always recommend having some painter's tape down if you wanna create different patterns when you are painting different shapes or making guidelines because if you do end up slipping, the tape adds a bit of protection so you're not actually going to scratch that acrylic when you are working. Painter's tape is also good for holding things in place when you don't have enough hands to work with. And the good thing about painter's tape is you can buy some that doesn't actually adhere a lot so it doesn't leave any residue behind whereas masking tape can leave residue behind and therefore ruin a paint job or the case itself with the residue on it because you do need to use a bit of rubbing force to actually remove it. Our third tool is this really cheap plastic cutting knife right here. You can buy these from hobby shops or you can just search online. It is called a plastic cutter. So you guys can see the model number here. What this does is it actually serves as two purposes. You can cut the plastic by scoring down. What that does is it weakens the point when you bend. So it'll create a nice straight cut. All you have to do is basically score down the acrylic till you're about halfway and that weakened point will just snap giving you a nice clean cut. This also serves for a second purpose. If you want to create some score lines in your acrylic and shine some lights behind it, the scoring acts really good to pick up all of that LED light and create different shapes. So say if you wanted a pattern like this going straight across the acrylic like I have done in many PCs before, that'll pick up the light really nice and give a real cool effect to some different panels that you could add to your system. These also go for very cheap, so once again, definitely a really cool tool to have in a beginner's toolbox. So the main focus of this video is to try and keep everything on a budget while focusing towards beginning PC modding enthusiasts. What I have here is some acrylic world solution and obviously the world bottle so you can add the acrylic solution. Now, acrylic, as I said, is a really base, cheap plastic that you can buy to start modding with. It is very easy to work with, and of course, you are not gonna damage your case. 
Now to create different shapes with that and to easily weld the acrylic together, I recommend buying some of this. You don't have to get a big tub like this one, you can get it in small bottles, but um, I use it a lot, so I've got a big tub here. Now this is an easy way of applying it. Comes with a small needle and you just add it to the gaps and what this does is it actually acts like a welder does with metal. It fuses the two pieces of acrylic together. So I definitely recommend getting some of this for starting off with. And you can create some really cool shapes without actually damaging your case and add that into your system to really make it stand out and make it really unique. Our final tools for our budget modding guide would have to be sandpaper and in particular different grits so you can work with different techniques to create a really unique design. Here I have some wet sandpaper, a really fine grit and obviously a grit that really cleans up some surfaces. This is a rougher grit and the reason why you need different grits is because you might have some deep scratches here and there. You need to start with the rougher grits and gradually move to the smoother grits. Now there's also different purposes that you could use sandpaper for. Once you've done your acrylic cut using that plastic cutting blade, you can use some sandpaper to go around the edges to try and smoothen that off a bit. You could also use the sandpaper to create a frosted look on top of the acrylic. I recommend sanding in one direction and using a finer grit just to create that frosted look. What that does is when you put light behind it, it really picks it up because of all of the minor scratches on the top surface. You could also create different patterns with it by applying the tape in different sections and the sections that are left exposed, you can light sand with the sandpaper to roughen them up and then when you pull the tape off you're going to have some frosted patterns and some just clear so those frosted sections will light up really nice with some LEDs behind them. So there's lots of different techniques that you can do with using sandpaper it's just whether you can imagine. And the good thing about having sandpaper as well is you could wet sand with the finer stuff if you want to remove some of your paint off of the case to apply a new coat. Now I do recommend wet sanding your case if you want a perfect finish. You can remove those bumps that the powder coat does apply and then you can apply a nice even coat of your own particular choice. I personally like to use a bit of Rust-Oleum or you can go into the automotive paints if you have the gear for that. However, since we are talking about budget, I'm more focusing those guys who will be using spray cans, Rust-Oleum being a good brand that you could try to use. So guys, that wraps up my beginner's top five guide for PC modding. I hope you all enjoyed that video. Leave some comments down below. Is there anything else you would recommend for this list? These were just my top five. Of course, everyone would have their own preference, but I could certainly work with those and achieve a pretty good result in a custom PC if I had those when I first began. Now, if you did like this video or you do like videos similar to this, then consider checking out all the other videos on the channel. We have lots of custom PCs, lots of modding tutorials, lots of DIY liquid cooling tutorials, and of course reviews. And consider subscribing guys, it really helps us out. We are almost at that 50k mark as well. Your support is much appreciated. And I will leave all the product links down in the description below if you want to support the channel. They are affiliate links of course to Amazon, so you are welcome to use those if you wish. Or to check out the product for more description. Thanks for watching guys as always and we'll see you all in the next one. Oh, and visit our Facebook page. We're almost at 20k likes. <laughs>